What's up, Flex Online bodybuilding sports fans, muscle meds enthusiasts, and everybody in between? It's me, your boy, Kai L. Green, aka Mr. Getting It Done, and we are here at none other than, none other than the East Coast Mecca of bodybuilding, Powerhouse Gym. And we just got finished training legs, and I am exhausted. I am joined by my training partner, dear friend, bodybuilding extraordinaire, muscle meds enthusiast, Miss Paulie Nelson, aka my sidekick, Miss Making It Happen. What's up, Paulie? I'm fine. Just get <laughs> just actually finished training legs. I'm feeling exhausted and a great training session we had today and Mr. Green is doing his thing. We're gonna bring back that number one to Brooklyn. So we train like number one. That's what's up. That's what's up. We worked really hard. I'm 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 very, very excited and privileged to have had this opportunity to train with you today. Um we did do legs as we said. Uh, yeah, I think the only thing we left out today was calves and that's usually because um, regularly for the folks at home, just so you know, um, I don't train calves on um, my leg day. Um, but um, I do get calf work done on another day, and uh, it seems to be seems to be working for me. So on leg day, I'm able to concentrate as much as I can on the desired muscles. In this case, with their quads, hamstrings. And um, so after we got finished doing the uh, abdominals, we moved from there right into uh, three different movements for our glutes. And uh, from there, by that point, hamstrings were pretty warm. So we were able to go right into hamstrings after doing walking lunges. You know, even walking on the step mill before doing the walking lunges. And I just I wanted to point this out because I think it's very, very important warming up everything <clears throat> and even trying to open up your personal uh flexibility you know both in your hips knees and in your ankles you know doing what we think are lunges we'll say okay well if I'm gonna do lunges my lunges need to look like that you know so it's not really lunges yet until I have 225 pounds on the bar or 135 on the bar you know trying to you know do something that we saw Ronnie Coleman do in his videos you know um, and though that stuff is tremendously um, awe-inspiring the truth is all of us are not on that level yet to start out you know so it is important to take the time to warm up your instrument you know to get in touch with your instrument you know and even take a minute to develop the flexibility even in your hips you know um, and try to think about making connections with your glutes or your hamstrings as you are led by the placement of your feet this is a little note that may be of some help to you. It's been very, very helpful to me. Um, and uh, so we also went from hamstrings into uh, quads. Um, basically, we did three movements of quads, leg extensions, um, squats, and hacks now believe it or not with the other stuff that we did even trying to address you know the glute development earlier on and I believe we also had some Jefferson's in there and I'm you know I'm a very strong believer in the value of Jefferson's um, and some people aren't but while executing a Jefferson just like uh, um, you know sumo squats I mean sumo deadlifts 
uh, sumo squats. Um, there's a tremendous amount of uh, contractile ability, I think, that's forced onto the vast externus, which is the outer um, portion of your quad. Um, so, believe it or not, when you're doing Jefferson's, I believe the same thing occurs. And as a result, um, your quads are getting, your outer quad, your vast externus gets a lot of stimulation. A lot of stimulation. Um, and uh, so much, in fact, that I think that later on, your quads can probably be a little pre-exhausted um, as a result. So with that, the lunges, um, before getting to squatting and leg extend. The leg extensions, I think, for us today, I think my, my quads are pretty much um, pre-exhausted. Um, the cartilaginous tissue on my knees were already pretty warm. Um, so though I say we only did like three movements for quads that I'm, I'm actually counting, um, technically with the glute work, there's more um, exercises that were done, you know, to stimulate some kind of development in my quad that uh, I think I'm just not counting you know, both with the Jeffersons and the walking lunges. So, um, what you'll see on camera though is leg extensions, squats, and hack squats. Um, but technically, I believe we did about at least five um, movements with where stimulation can be applied to the quads. Anyway, this was our leg day. This is Kyle Green, aka Mr. Getting It Done, with my sidekick. Pauline Nelson, <laughs> Terminator, Miss Making It Happen.